Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Mac OS X Lion, the operating system recently released by Apple. Now, recently, uh, by recently I mean a week ago, and the, the tech world is so fast moving that in that time a lot of people have already done coverage on the major features. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk about all the major features that you'll have heard about, I'm just going to go over some little things that I've noticed and that I think are cool. So, I, I want to say as well, it, depending on what time I upload this video, I may or may not have uploaded a video about, about the poor Wi-Fi connection or the Wi-Fi issues that have resonated as part of my Christian line. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that overshadow this video, but it definitely is something to keep in mind. So. What I'm going to do is, again, I'm not going to talk about the major feature. I'm just going to talk about a few little things that Apple didn't mention that I've noticed throughout my usage time with Lion, that being about a week. So let's get, let's get started. The first thing I wanted to mention was something in system preferences. You now have one preference pane to organise your mail, contacts and calendars. And like in iOS, I have my Gmail account set up here. Previously, that was only set up through mail, but it, it recognizes my Gmail account and it can also have, I have the option to let it pull in my calendars and iChat contacts if if I want. That all links up together. Really, really cool feature and really easy to use. And the next thing is um, a, quite a small thing, but it it's cool for users, especially especially ones that are basic users and don't know what the about the iComputer. computer. The new about this Mac system profile pane, which can be accessed by clicking about this Mac and then more info. It's a more graphical user in, interface. You can see a more split area of what your Mac is and you also have a summation here of the exact model that you, you've you got so it would be a lot easier for basic users to to identify when their computer needs troubleshooting. You can also check for updates right from here and that, and that intertwines with software update. So it's 17.30 it's all nicely integrated. You can also you can also um, access most of like your your displays, storage, uh, what your Mac has in terms of storage, uh, and also memory. Now this is this is really cool. You can see I've got two gigabytes here, but I can have uh, um, uh, I've got two empty memory slots so I know I can have uh, I can have f four memory slots for here and it, it tells you exactly what specification you require and it also gives you a link to go to an Apple website and look at an official article about how to upgrade memory so it's really cool for them and also gives you um, Link to where you can get support and service right from there. We've spent we've, we've spent long enough in the about this map pain now. I wasn't anticipating that it would take that long. Um, the next thing is if you select some file and you want to put them into a folder, previously you would have had to first select a new folder and then drag them in, but now a really cool feature instead of opening all the items. The first item is new folder with selection, and in my case, that's three items. If I hit that, it's gonna uh, transfer them into a new folder, rather oddly named new folder with items, but it puts it straight there for you to rename it. Um, so you can put mul multiple items in into a folder just with one click. The next, the next thing is 
also something in the context menu. Um, you've got this new sort by and clean up by preferences where you can order your icons and particular snap them to grid. That was something available in Windows for a, a long time with with the auto arrange function. But you've only just been able to snap Mac icons to a grid so you can get access to them. Um, and they don't and they don't get out of place. Another thing is is they've changed the airport name of airport instead of airport it's now just called Wi Fi. Again, easier for the basic user. Um wheels we also have if we go back into when you sort by preferences similar to what I talked about before. Um, if we look at a finder window, um, we now have, among other things, we now have this entirely, in, entirely new preference where we can um, just sort by some rather new useful uh, algorithms such as last day open. So, um, I've the application that, that a particular file was created in, so more sorting options makes it really, really handy. Um, in addition to that, we also have a, a different quick look. So, if I was to quick look. Turn, turn my audio off and quick look this quick time movie you can see the quick look window is now white and, and the controls are, are smaller and only appear when you need them you also have the option to open the file with the application right from quick work where you couldn't do that before. Um, another thing is the ability to email, send a file in an email with an attachment right from the context menu. So if I click this, it would open up mail and get that ready to send off in an email. Again, one of those nice efficiency things. Moving on to the next and last thing we're going to talk about in this video is new desktop wallpapers. Yes, exciting. Um, if you go into system preferences, you've got access to uh, some new desktop wallpapers specifically in the nature category to do to do with lion and you've you've also got um uh, access to new screen savers interestingly enough although I can't show you this in the screencast you've also got a new lock a, a new lock screen and a um obviously unlock screen while the screen is locked, you can show the clock, which you, did, you couldn't do before, and you can also get access to your Wi-Fi strength and your clock at all times. So that is kind of cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. That wraps it up. And if you if you've got any tips for macOS macOS 10 Lion or anything you just want to chime in with in general, leave it in the comments down below. You can also Check out my website over at tom-rogers.com. We've got a whole ton of different tech content over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.